Hi, I'm Bill from CruiseHabit.com. Today, Richard Fain, the CEO of Royal Caribbean Group, a parent company to Royal Caribbean International, Celebrity Cruises, and Silver Sea, shared a video uh, with some updates specifically for travel agents, but we're going to share it with you. This includes good news on when they expect to be sailing out of the U.S. with uh, the various cruise lines, and in these updates, he shared the status of the organization's work with the CDC, as well as what he expects cruising to look like in terms of masks, vaccines, buffets, social distancing, and more. Spoiler alert here, for guests, it's not going to be very different than before COVID, and in fact, in some ways, it might even be better. At the end of Mr. Fain's video, we'll tell you where you can find more up-to-date information on masks, vaccines, and test requir testing requirements for other cruise lines, and keep things up-to-date, as well as how you can follow along as we sail on Celebrity Millennium from St. Martin on June 5th. Now, off to the backyard of Royal Caribbean Group's CEO, Richard Fain. Hello, travel advisors from all of us at the Royal Caribbean Group. We've made it. After 15 months of pain and agony, we are finally there. For so long, I've talked about the light at the end of the tunnel. Now we're emerging from the tunnel and we can look at a very bright day. We can now state with a high level of confidence that ships from the Royal Caribbean Group will be operating out of U.S. ports as early as next month. Next month? It feels so good to be saying those words. Let me update you on all that's happened since my last message. Of course, one of the most important developments has been our evolving relationship with the CDC. It's no secret that we were disappointed with many of their initial rules for restarting. However, over the past weeks, that level of dialogue has improved 1000%. And that dialogue has allowed us to understand their concerns. But in addition, it has, that dialogue has enabled the CDC to understand our concerns. It has also enabled the CDC to review so much helpful data that we have acquired from our sailings abroad. In the 16th century, Sir Francis Bacon said that knowledge is power, and the knowledge that has gotten us here is the science about this disease. That knowledge has given us the tools to corral this pandemic and to ensure that a cruise ship can be as safe or safer than your local community. As a result, the CDC has now clarified and updated their rules to allow us to start sailing from U.S. ports. Last week, we formally submitted our request for sailing authorization to the CDC. We're hopeful that they will issue that permission shortly. Now, several developments had led to this wonderful situation. Obviously, the widespread administration of vaccines has proven to be the game changer that we had hoped. And our positive, constructive dialogue with the CDC has borne fruit. Carefully, methodically, we've worked with the CDC and other health authorities to get to a good place. Another important element contributing to this progress is all of you. You sent messages to your senators and members of Congress. You wrote columns and letters to the editor. You used your social media channels to spread the word in general. You spoke up on behalf of treating cruises like other areas, and the world listened. That's what partnership is all about, and we thank all of you for your energy, your initiatives, and your determination. Now let me tell you a bit about the specifics of our restart. Under any scenario, we intend to vaccinate all of our crew. That process has already started, and we expect that essentially 100% of crew members will have received their vaccines before the cruise starts in the U.S. The CDC has specified two different structures for sailing from the U.S. The first alternative structure is where virtually all the guests are vaccinated. There will be some exceptions, such as people who can't get the shot for medical reasons or religious reasons. Smaller children also can't get the shot today. However, under any scenario, everybody who's eligible for the vaccine will be vaccinated. And we will limit the number of people who can't so that 95% or more of the guests will be vaccinated. We expect that Celebrity and Silver Seas will both follow this structure. 
Now, Royal Caribbean International is likely to take a somewhat different route. Like our other brands, everyone who's eligible for vaccine will be expected to have one. However, children under 12 can't yet get the shot, and Royal Caribbean International carries a lot of families. Families are important to us, and as the father of four wonderful children and seven extraordinary grandkids, I understand the importance of family travel. Of course, I, I do also understand that you don't always want the kids with you, but that's another story we don't need to talk about here. In any event, on these cruises, we may not reach the 95% threshold, but even here, the vast majority will be vaccinated. Now, I'm often asked whether the cruises will be like cruises were before the pandemic, or will they have so many restrictions that they interfere with the cruise experience? Until now, I haven't been able to answer that question because we just didn't know. But the fog is lifting, and today we have a pretty good sense and a pretty encouraging sense. As we restart, there will be some more restrictions than before, but we expect they will be temporary and similar to what we've all become used to on land. For example, we will still have our wonderful buffets, but instead of picking up the tongs yourself, a waiter will handle the tongs for you. We're optimistic that masks won't be required anywhere if you're vaccinated, and since most people will be, this also should be of minimal impact. There will be some areas where social distancing will be required, but the ships will start with lower occupancy, so there actually should just be a greater sense of space. And we're proud of the fact that our ships have always had a particularly good spaciousness, so this will just enhance that, but again, only for a little while. The biggest changes will really be behind the scenes, things like upgraded air conditioning system, enhanced cleaning, etc. And again, this is all evolving quickly and will change as we keep learning. Another question I'm frequently asked is how will shore excursions operate? Destinations are an important part of the cruise experience, and we want to make sure that our guests don't miss out on that aspect of the cruise either. So we will offer shore excursions where the operator abides by hygiene and other precautions that meet our standards. In most cases, our guests can also arrange their own excursions, and these will be regulated by, go by local rules. Vaccinations are quickly ramping up in our major destinations as well, so this too should be a temporary factor. It sure feels great to give this report. Cruises are restarting. The ships are being outfitted with new filtration, hygiene, and other precautions. We have protocols that provide protection for our guests and our crew. And the onboard experience will be great with only minimal restrictions compared to pre-pandemic cruising. The shoreside experience will also be great, also with minimal restrictions. Now, we're so close to getting fully back to business and we're so eager to get started. As you've heard me say, and as you know from your own experience, pent-up demand for cruising is enormous. Now's the time for you to really mine your databases. It's also a time to learn more about all we're doing to maintain the safety of a cruise, but also the excitement of a cruise. The more you know, the better you will be able to advise your clients. Now, for a year, I've ended these messages by reminding you all to mask up and wash your hands. However, because of the latest guidance from the CDC, I'm delighted to say that if you're fully vaccinated, you no longer need to wear a mask. What an incentive to get the vaccine. So I may drop the mask part, but remember what your parents taught you, always wash your hands. So I'm excited about the future of our industry. That light that gets brighter and brighter is the sun coming up on a brand new day of cruising. And still, don't forget to get your vaccine and to wash your hands. I hope you found that update as encouraging as I did. Things have been evolving very quickly the last couple weeks, but luckily it's all been in a really good direction. If you need help keeping track of it all, don't fret. We've got a post linked down below where we, we're keeping you up to date with uh, mask requirements, vaccine requirements, testing information, and more, not just for Royal Caribbean company, Celebrity, Silver Sea, but for all major cruise lines. To make travel all the easier though, have somebody else do the hard work for you. I highly recommend using a good travel agent. You can click the link below for a free no obligation quote from our friends at Touring Plans Travel.
We've got a world of cruise information waiting for you. So be sure to check out cruisehabit.com for tips, updates, and very soon, live coverage of our trip to St. Martin and Seven Night Cruise on Celebrity Millennium. I look forward to talking ship with you again real soon.